even tattoo artists don't understand. So they're like, what the fuck is wrong with those guys? Today's topic, what we want to talk about. Penis, paint, paint a big picture short, okay? Did you say penis? Uh, no, paint. Penis. Penis, yes. Okay. My penis in your anus. <laughs> <laughs> My penis in your anus. That Maybe that'll be the next <laughs> safe word. My penis in your anus, okay? So all y'all out there. Okay. <laughs> Controlling men. I want to know what it is. I want to know what the fuck it is. So if you're listening to this, this video is for you, okay? I'm gonna paint you a picture here. I got a friend of mine. I'm not gonna say no names. Obviously, it's a girl. <whistles> Went over and texted her and said, Hey, you home? She said, Yeah. I said, Hey, okay, I'm gonna come over and pick up my movie. I had loaned her a movie of mine. Porn? She turns around. She's talking to me outside, giving me my movie. Her kids come out. I've tattooed some of her kids. As I'm there, her boyfriend come walking out, which is cool. It's the first time I ever seen this guy. But it wasn't that yet. It wasn't that yet. <laughs> no, it just wasn't that yet. What it was is that this guy came out. She introduced us. Yo, yo, so, so, blah, blah, blah. This gentleman, after talking a little bit of, you know, do some conversing and stuff with my, my homegirl, turns around and does the whole put his arms around her while we're talking. So... That's what I'm trying to get at, is what is it about you gentlemen out there that do this shit? That's what I want to know. Like, what is it about me? I'm an ugly motherfucker <laughs> if you guys haven't realized this shit yet. So I'm just saying, what is it? I want to know. What, what, give me your like and opinion. <laughs> if you've got a story on this shit too, bro, feed it out. I want to know. I want, let the people know. Bro. So the other day, I had this girl, she messaged me the night before. She's like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm like, nothing, I'm chilling. She's like, cool. Let's go hang out. So we went and hung out for a couple hours. The whole time. The whole time. Okay? I asked her how her man was, what he's up to, what's going on with him. Fucking went and hung out, played some mini golf and just bullshit and stuff like that. That's it. That's it. You can be friends with a girl. Okay? You can be friends with opposite, opposite sex without worrying about if somebody's going to fuck or not. Okay? You can just be people and hang out and chill. It's that fucking easy. And if you have to be one of those dudes that when you, oh, you can't talk to your, your, your guy friends anymore because they, they're all trying to fuck you. No, sorry. But apparently, your dick and your brain are two separate entities and you figure that every other man is just fucking like you and that ain't how it fucking works. These motherfuckers do this all the time. My favorite part of it though, but like before they're all hugging up on their girl, like, mm, yeah, what's up, baby? Mm, kiss them on the shit. Fuck that. I've known your girl 10 years. If I wanted to bang her out, I'd done it nine and a half years ago. Calm the fuck down, okay? Plus, the other thing is don't swell up on me when you come out. What's up, bro? How you doing? My name's Todd. Been dating her for like two weeks. Motherfucker. <laughs> I've known her kid longer than I've known you. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, all right? I'm checking on my homegirl. She was having a bad day because you done fucked up. So I came over to see how she was doing. Are y'all going to come over and like, I'll rub it on your girl and shit like suddenly she gives a fuck and just... The, the best part of it is half the time when y'all motherfuckers do this, when you come up and you're like, mm, baby girl and shit, they're looking at you like you're fucking retarded. Because you don't ever do that unless there's another fucking dude standing there. You guys don't see your woman's faces, but they really that's do have that That's my favorite part, look. where the girl just suddenly goes, the fuck? That, that's why when we leave, they're like, oh, you should come by anytime. Just swing on by. We're always here. Just come by and say hi. It's as soon as we come by... They get affection because your ass is insecure that for some reason this dude that's a friend that can actually just fucking talk to her however, which is a key to a good relationship, fucking talk to her, suddenly you get all affectionate. You're a fucking idiot. Just saying, look at the situation, analyze it, figure it out, but we're not a fucking threat, okay? All I'm saying is like, look, look at the situation. If this guy really is a threat, then, you know, have a little talk with your girl, but don't fucking get all insecure about it. I mean, talk to her, get to know her, communicate. That's what's gonna make that fucking relationship better with you and her. So she can have friends and you can have friends. And as long as you ain't talking to your fucking hoodlum girlfriends or whatever, or if they're not, if there's some fucking some cool ass chicks out there, cool, show them the same fucking respect. The way you would want a man to talk to your woman when you're not around, 
is how you should be talking to these females. End of story. Simple as that, man. Little respect goes a long fucking way. If you in a relationship and you got homegirls, talk to them like they're your homegirls. Here's the thing. When I'm in a relationship, I mean, it's been a while, but when I'm in a relationship, if I'm talking to a girl, it's basically like I'm talking to this motherfucker. Why? Because I got a girl, so you now have boobs and dick. Obviously, from the way I talk, is the way that I perceive things, the, anything and everything. My boy's the same way. We're just the talkative type. What's up, yo? We're those guys that if there's an elephant in the fucking room, we're gonna ask you about it. We don't care. We don't have awkwardness. Why you got an elephant in the room? Okay. That's why I can't quit you. This is why no, I can't quit can't, him can't, either. Can't, can't, just don't look at my man. Yes. He's my man. Yes. What you know about that? This is what we're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to promote Frankie's on the show as well. Shameless self-promotion! We're late, located in Clearfield, Utah. Number 801-773-7651. Open every day, 12 to 8, except for Mondays. And then we want to introduce our... We're just doing a plug for the um, for the Frankie's. You know plugs? No, 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 no. For the shop, for the shop, bro. That's oh, why we put Frankie's, Frankie's in the show. Shameless self-promotion. Yes. Shameless. Frankie's, this is Dave, the owner. Kevin, another artist here. Make sure you guys come in. I'm on a boat! <laughs> he will be if you want him to. All right. <laughs> the right price will be anything you want us to be. So yeah, there's our free plug for the whole show. Or for the self-promotion!